25,000. They have to match it with 25,000, correct? Yeah, uh, correct. And I, I think you're referring to the $25,000 um, contribution to the uh, repair fund. Right. What we did, uh, Councilman, I, I think you and I have talked about it, but for the whole council, um, we are struggling this year to keep up with the repair costs at the Orr Museum. And the, the, f the feeling is that we, we needed a different mechanism to, in order to channel our contribution. We looked uh, at the uh, baseball stadium. As you know, we have a repair fund at the baseball stadium where we and the shuckers each make a contribution to a fund and those funds are then used for major repairs. So we thought that would work and that would be a way for us to uh, put a cap, if you will, on uh, the amount of money we're spending for repairs at the or. So the way the, uh, the agreement reads, and this has been, this has been to the OR you know, for, for comment, the way the uh, agreement reads that we would contribute $25,000 right up front into a fund that they would manage and they would match or put a minimum of $25,000 into that fund and then it would be used for major repairs. Once that cap is exceeded, Everything's on them. Now, obviously, in a catastrophic situation, they could come back to the council and ask for help. But we're trying to put a cap on what we're spending down there. This year, we will spend 90, over $90,000 in repairs, in addition to over $120,000 in electric, electric bills. And we just felt like we don't want to walk away from the ore. It's, it's, a, it's a beautiful and important museum in our city, along with the others we have. But we needed to put a cap on and if you will let them have a little more skin in the game so that's the way we set it up i think it'll work nicely because it, it gets us right at the beginning of the year capped as to how much we're going to spend and it gets them managing that fund so that means they're going to decide whether to call the elevator repair company when the elevator is down uh, whether they're going to call it an emergency and, and pay extra or maybe wait a while or, or it, are they going to find? Are they going to use a handyman to do fix the little things that maybe um, you know <coughs> don't don't need a repair contract? Now we will still respond to emergencies. The public works department still has a hotline that that they'll call if there's something happening, and we will respond. And if there's an emergency, say there's a, a pipe broke and the water is rush, rushing, or we've had some here in the last couple of weeks like that, we would respond. Uh, with our pe people just just to be able to stop the emergency and, and return it, you know, as, if it is a ca case of safety or immediate damage to the facility, we would respond that once the emergency was a, was a corrected, then they, if there was work that had to be done by a contractor, they would call the contractor and they would pay that contractor out of the re repair fund. We think this mechanism will allow us to still contribute to the repair of of that museum repairs, but but cap our city uh, contribution. So that's the way we set that up. Different than we did from the seafood museum. And you all understand, I know, that the museums are similar but different in that we do not own the Orr Museum. Right, we own go. the seafood museum building. So I was going to explain that to that they own that building. The seafood museum we own. That is part of the city. That's, that's the big difference. But that's just one thing. I just want to make sure we had that straight because I think it's a good thing. And you always keep people in control, <laughs> supposedly. You know. So what else we got? Is it still my turn or what? Still your turn. Still my turn. All right. I, I don't like a. I don't. First of all, this pedestrian crossover is a waste of money. Y'all can say what you want. You're spending two and a half million dollars to put up a tube. Who's going to control it? Who's going to light it? Who's going to pay the air condition elevators? Is that all city responsibility? Oh. So where are we going with this thing? Who's putting all our money out after it's built? We have to maintain all that? The city? I, yeah. I think it's a waste of money anyway, but I'm just, I mean, you got one right here. You're building one from one park garage to another park garage for three and a half million. Now you're going to spend two and a half million on another one that goes nowhere. So, I mean, I just think it's a waste of money, but I mean, I don't want this bill to fall back on the city all of a sudden, after you spend a two and a half million, it's going to cost fifty, sixty, seventy thousand a year. Police going to be there? Fire going to be there? Who's going to run this thing? Who's going to keep it clean? City? It's an added expense you're creating with this thing that serves no purpose. You have to walk to a stoplight to go to this thing. 
makes no sense to me. But anyway, so I, I'm totally against A. No comment. Okay, try not to finish. I found out one thing. I, I couldn't understand why we couldn't handle our own fire extinguishers. Well, they told me we can't be the inspector and tag them. You have to have somebody outside the fire department to do that, correct? On this uh, fire extinguishers. We hired somebody to go, you know, y'all go to businesses and check all the fire extinguishers. Right. Now we have to have somebody to check the city fire extinguishers. Can you explain it to you? Because that didn't make any sense to me. The fire department checks to see if the tags are on the extinguishers, but the extinguishers have to be examined uh, periodically to make sure that the powder in them or, or the, the propellant in them is working properly. So they have to be inspected by an independent company. And so that's what, you know, we go out and do an annual inspection on a business and we just check the tag to make sure that the company has ex ex inspected it and it's working properly. Yeah, okay, that's what was explained to me yesterday. I just want to make sure that's how it worked. I just, you know, so here we have, we have another contract with somebody else. I like all the deal that we're closing all these contracts. That, you know, they're going back to either in the pavement fund or if it's a bond money, it goes back to the bond. Sure. I think that's good that you're doing that. And clo a lot of these things are good that oh, I thought you couldn't give me something. Okay. So those, those are good things. I, I'm, get them off the table. Let me see here. We ain't finished. Uh, uh, the the B monthly news thing, this is just to move money so they could pay bills. That's what they was told. Yeah. It's not costing us any money. This is advertising money they have to move so they can pay their bills, right? For the, the B monthly. I believe this is money that they have Created. received from ads, and this is to allow it to go to out, pay. Of the, out of that account to the vendor, to the printing company. Yeah, I gotta make sure I keep up with Vincent, because Vincent said it's not gonna cost us any money. You know, so I'm making sure we're doing that. Where is it? Definitely. Okay, here. now we get to these here. Uh, the DD, what, what does it cost us? On this, the Howard Avenue improvement. Here we got another change order, what? On this DD. You wanna take that? I don't know what the change order is. Well, we've got two million tied up That's in this street now. So this is basically what we just did for the Division Street project as well. When we entered into the contract with Pickering, initially the, the design was just for um, Raynor to Lemuse. But as we went through design, we added the section all the way down to Nixon Street and then up to MLK. But we never adjusted Pickering's contract for construction administration and RPR for that, the time frame that's associated with those additional pieces. So this is basically what we're doing. We're just giving them more time. How to is that possible? We didn't make well, because when we started there. design and we entered the initial contract with Pickering, we didn't we didn't know we were going to do those parts. As design progressed and we added we added different sections, it, it we just it wasn't thought of in the beginning. So now we need to add to it. Man, okay. All right, and then the last one that's FF or whatever they changed this one to. I don't understand what we're giving anybody fifty thousand dollars for that we've never seen, Which and I don't know why we're giving them anything in October, November, December. They're not in session, so why are we giving them thirty thousand? Is this a Christmas bonus? What is this money for? I mean, they're not in session, so what are they doing in October, November, December? So I'm totally—I I don't like this anyway. I don't see where we get anything from this. We put this man seventy thousand, and we hadn't got anything back that I've seen. And now you're running a, another five-year, five-month contract. They're not even in service. They ain't even working. Mm -hmm. So now I'm totally against that. And then the contract that y'all got on this piece of paper, half of it says six months, half says five months. So the contract you got on the agenda is wrong anyway. So to me, you talk about something ought to be taken off the table, this is it. You want to table something, table the thing until January. That's my suggestion. I'll make that motion. I, we have a motion by Mr. Lawrence to table <coughs> DD, or yeah, I'm sorry, it is which one? Oh, they changed it again. FF. 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 A motion by Mr. Lawrence to table FF. Is there a second? 
I'll second it for discussion. All right. Seconded by Mr. Barrett. You want to continue anything, Mr. Lawrence? You want to continue? No, I just, that is my thing. They're not working. I'm not paying anybody 30000 for nothing. Give me a break, Mike. Thirty thousand. Give me a break. I mean, come on. We are being up right in the people in the departments, twenty, thirty thousand dollars, and we giving thirty thousand to somebody ain't doing anything. Fifty thousand, excuse me. But I mean, the first thirty thousand to me should not even should not be paid. <clears throat> Mr. Barrett, was this fifty thousand dollars included in our? expected expenditures from the general fund in our budget talks. It, it was. And 50 is in other professional services and the executive branch the department. It's there. I didn't expect to start spending it this early. And, uh, and, and I was under, this is something that the mayor and I talked about, and the mayor said that it was in his budget, not in the general fund budget. It was coming out. Of, I understand we're leaving it, but it's it's coming out of general fund budget. It's not in the administrative budget. It's it's. Kind of, I mean, it's just you're just moving money from the general fund to the administrative budget. And um, if if the mayor wants to hire out of his budget, I'll do it. But I'm not going to support this coming from the general fund. That's that's just my opinion. Yeah. Um, we haven't. I agree with Mr. Leonard. He, we've spent seventy thousand dollars to date and have gotten no reports nothing from from this source um you know if we saw some positive traction somewhere or something but we have no no reports or anything of any progress that's been made so to date we've thrown away seventy dollars seventy thousand dollars and i'm not willing to do throw away another fifty thousand dollars or risk throwing away another fifty thousand dollars until we have some type of report or something from this guy letting us know that there's some some progress or some positive movement um with him um, that's uh, so. I, as I'll, I'll vote to table it if George wants to table it. Um, if he doesn't, I vote against this item on the. Um, it, the agenda. motion is to table it right now, and it will come back if it doesn't pass, and we'll go back to that that particular one. Any other discussion? Yes. Just to, on tabling it. No, but I have I have comments that may determine whether to table it or not in my mind. If it's related, go ahead. Okay, so um, Mr. Hurd is a lobbyist. Um, he helps us with the Restore Act. Do we have anybody on staff who's fully knowledgeable and has the expertise to deal with state and federal uh, agencies and uh, congressmen and legislators on the Restore Act? Do we have anybody in Washington? Other than the mayor today. No. Okay. Uh, uh, this, this is on the agenda today because uh, when the announcements came out about the process for the BP money, uh, as well as the process for the infrastructure money that's coming from the uh, internet sales, the mayor said to me, get, get that guy going. We're going to need somebody up in Jackson talking to the various folks Right, and and uh, you've got the Gulf Coast Restoration Fund. I think that was part of the special session. I think that's been ironed out to some extent. Right. That's why it's on the agenda. Does it, does it have to be now or next week or the week after? I don't know, but I'll let right. I think when he comes back from Washington, maybe it'll be But there's other, other federal funding out there, and, and I'm asking because I don't know who our 
expert is on Go Mesa, the Office of the Inspector General, on the Audit and Appeal. Audit and Appeal. I know that we're dealing with with some FEMA and MEMA related issues. We've got the Keesler Gate inside and outside and related grants. Um, so I mean, you're talking about millions and millions of dollars. And what I heard you just say is we can have an expert tomorrow if sort of if somebody goes online and goes to the webinar that the state state puts on more or less i can say with certainty that i'm certainly not that expert okay <laughs> do you know of anybody else that's an expert that has has the knowledge expertise to keep these things going or the relationships not personally but I'm okay Okay, that's all. All right. Thank you, Mr. Leonard. Any other discussion on uh, this motion to table? <coughs> yeah, one uh, one thing real quick. Uh, we have two people we both share on the aisles. I thought they were supposed to do a job. But I see Cliff Crick, and I thought that's what they were supposed to be doing for it. So they don't have the experts? So they're not experts? So what are, what are we doing with them then? I'm just saying, I mean, Joe was in the legislature for several years. Like, people said he's been out of there a while. I don't doubt that, but he probably have a lot of connections. So we got people in that they're not experts. Yeah, I mean, I think he would be one of the experts. Jerry, Say what? I think Joe would be one of the experts. Yeah. So, I mean, I so said, why don't we let him do it? We, we've not suffered from the lack of asking in the past. We've suffered from the lack of money coming back or from our asks. Right, so I'm not in favor of throwing away another 120000 because we hadn't got anything yet. We already spent 70000 Now you want to spend another fifty? That's my problem. Yeah. Anyone else? Uh, yes, um, just just kind of like uh, Dr. Tisdale when he ran across this litany of uh, uh, things. Uh, Keith Hurd, you know, um, uh, in particular like the Keesler Gate. Uh, he was instrumental in helping us get that, uh, bringing those monies back to Biloxi. So if you start looking at things like that and what he's already, what he's have, have already done for the city of Biloxi, and you already have someone who are, who who's already in the trenches, we need to take advantage of what we already have and and the pipeline that he's already started. So if we move away from that, then the monies could dry up easily. Yeah, Joe Blessy been in the uh, uh, yeah. legislature, but that was probably before I was born. So yeah, I don't know if he even know any of these new guys. Thank yeah. you. He was in diapers at that time. Yeah. All right, the only thing I want to add, I seem to recall we have asked for uh, the program of work that Mr. Hurd has uh, been working on. What has he accomplished? What, is he, what has he done? Some bullet points of uh, going forward. Uh, what is the, the plan going forward? Uh, so, and Mr. Leonard, you said whether it starts next week or a couple weeks, it, it, it really doesn't matter, but it needs to start at some point uh, yeah. for us to be effective. Is that correct? What That's what the mayor is looking for. He knows there's things going on behind the scenes up in Jackson right now about setting up the group of people who are going to steer the money and setting up the processes of how the projects will compete. There are things that we don't know. Even the $5 million we need uh, to finish the Keesler Gate outside, we're still waiting for, for that money. And it's promised and uh, with no nothing happening sure. right now. And we, so can't, we can't put that job on the street till we get that money. So if we table this for a, a week until we get some more information, or maybe Mr. Hurd himself would uh, come here and give us an update, that may be, be beneficial for us. I don't see any problem members. with doing that. I agree with you, Kenny. We requested that before, but it never came. Mm -hmm. So I think that's a good thing to do. I think we just need to hold this thing back until somebody comes explain to me why I'm wasting ten thousand a month. All right. So yeah. is that subject to call until we get a report? Right. Or Let's do it that way. All right. Well, um, I'm hearing a, a few different things. Maybe we table for at least a week. We can always table it again if we if we haven't gotten the updates that we need. Any Maybe. other discussion so we can move forward? Vote on this motion. So the motion is to table it for a week. Right. Okay, then all in favor? Opposed? 6 1. I'm, what is it? Oh, I'm sorry, 5 1. Voted against. Sorry, Mr. Demon. Thought he was on his phone. I'm using my fingers. Thought he was on his phone. That's all right. Okay. Uh,
Any other items on the consent agenda? Give everybody a full shot. I, no, I, I do Mr. have Lawrence. Some. I mean, Mr. Tisdale. Uh, on the other Lawrence. On the other Lawrence. On, on item T, it, 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 uh, I think it's closing out a Brownsville project, but I really didn't see a description of what or where it was. So I know we're closing it out, but I'm not quite sure what it was. And, and, and just in background, Christy, as you get started, there's a whole series there that we're closing out. We normally do this at the end of each fiscal year. I'm not sure it's gotten that vis much visibility in the past, but we, we try and get all the projects that are closed cl off the books so that when we do the revised budget in October, the revised capital project list will just be the active stuff and not all the old tired finished jobs. And in some cases, there's a little bit of money left in some of these then we can move around. That project was managed by Susan Pickett, so I don't know all of the sites that they did. I think they did three. I know one for sure was um, Electric Made Bakery. Used to be an old gas station. Yeah. They took out yeah. those tanks there. Gotcha. And okay. I believe there was a site um, somewhere on the point they did. I think, like I said, I think there were three, but I can find out for sure. Now I remember together. Electric Made wh yeah. while you're there. Yes. Um, uh, IMCC refers to a period of performance to begin in August of 2015. This is the one with uh, MDEQ on the Pops Ferry, Carlsberg Park. They refer to a period of performance. What is that exactly? That's What's the our, significance? That's just the period of our grant. That's when our grant okay. ex expires. We are extending it through December. Okay, last nice question. Uh, DD, this is uh, Pickering, is asking for an extension. And it notes that it was a five month project. And I think what they're asking for is a two and a half month extension. But in the third, whereas, it says, due to construction lasting longer than the five months time frame, Pickering has submitted amendment number one attached to uh, here, here to as exhibit A for a time extension of seven and a half months to be added to the contract. I just think that's a typo. That's just, yeah, it should I think be you're a correct. Two and a half month for a total of seven and a half yeah, months. Yeah, and I'll, I'll verify with Pickering um, well, to make sure that you're correct. Corrected. Yeah. Y'all would like to table until we can straighten yeah, it out. Okay, I'd, I'd move that we table that till okay. we, we get this. Uh, we have a motion to, uh, to table it until we make the correction. Is, is there a second? D a second. Uh, Ms. Newman, any additional discussion? All in favor? Opposed? Motion carries to table it. Yeah. 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 Until it is subject to call, until it's corrected. Whenever they correct it, they can get it done next week. It'll be next week. I would think so. That's all. Okay. All right. Anyone else, Mr. Barrett? You have anything? All right. Uh, the chair entertained. Uh, well, we'll take a, a vote on the consent agenda, and then we'll get the exceptions. All in favor of the consent agenda? Motion by Miss Newman. Second. I thought we did. Okay. I'm sorry. Yeah, we, we All in favor? <coughs> Those opposed? The motion carries. Now we'll get the exceptions. Uh, we'll start with Mr. Lawrence. Vote against A and F. What we did? We table that? F, F. We tabled that, didn't we? We tabled it. Okay. Just A. Just A for no, Mr. Lawrence. Just A. Mr. Gines? None. Ms. Newman? Mr. Tisdale? None. Mr. Barrett? No. Oh. Oh, and I have none. All right, let's uh, go ahead and open code enforcement hearings. Mr. Creel, begin when you're ready.
did the fire occur? It's been close to a year. Okay, thank you. Mr. Taylor had come, had come to me, uh, last week. I met with him and his wife uh, a couple of months ago. He came uh, back in the city. He came out there last week, told him he'd been in the hospital. He asked for an additional 30 days. But by the time, depending on what the council does, if you go to the grandmother and the address, it'll take us at least 30 days to get the beds in for demolition and everything else. Uh, yeah, I, I would, I would uh, elect to move forward on this. It's been almost a year. I have a lot of residents wondering why we are to this point when it should have been resolved earlier. And I'm, I'm sorry for Mr. Taylor's misfortune, but I prefer we move forward on this. six weeks by Mr. Toller. Yes, Thank you. Thanks. Okay. Hey, just to clarify, is there anyone here to speak on behalf of Terry Toller and Keith and Janet Ollerman? There being no one, this case Let's is closed. Just got that in, Keith. <laughs> just want to make sure. All right. Uh, motion to approve the routine agenda. I'll make that motion. Mr. Gines. Second. Uh, Mr. Barrett. Discussion. Yeah, I, have, uh, I need to find out that Mr. Gines. He's close enough to right. Mr. Gines. And he, Mr. Gines is uh, yeah. deferred to Mr. Lawrence. Go ahead, Mr. Lawrence. Go ahead, Mr. Gines. Mr. Kidd, have we received any money? How much? Uh, how you doing, Mr. McEwen? <laughs> <laughs> You want to make a comment? I want. Uh, oh, I'd like to ask one more question since we're in the routine. How did we correct the eleven and a half million dollar mistake on the the budget that they passed? I can explain to y'all what y'all done. So okay. I mean, I know nobody caught that, so that was eleven and a half million dollar mistake. Mr. McEwen, uh, if you would get with Mr. Lawrence and go over the discrepancy, and if uh, we need some formal action, we'll, we'll take it at the appropriate time. Mr. Mr. Lawrence, I mean Mr. Tisdale. Yeah, the Mr. Lawrence. Yeah, thank I'll you. Get you. I'll get on, uh, one of these years. On uh, Exhibit B, there are two payments for professional services to Sovran, S-O-V-R-A-N, Acquisition LP. Usually I run these down before the council meeting, but 
Uh, Pinky's not been in her office this week, so do we, does that ring a bell off the top of your head? So, Sovran, I don't I can give you the vendor numbers 25, 22. On, on the B docket. Right away, okay, I'll check, no big, I'll check, I'll check, I'll get with you, thank you. Thanks for running that down, Mr. Leonard, appreciate it. That's All right, last chance, anybody else on the routine agenda? All right, call for the question, all in favor? Those opposed, motion carries. We have a motion to recess. Second. You got the votes, all in favor? Those opposed, we're recessed.